It took the negotiators a year and a half of intense talks, but finally a deal on how to compensate the victims of Colombia's conflict has been reached. Los colombianos tenemos una muy buena noticia para el mundo. We have very good news for the world. This announcement foreshadows the end of the conflict and the possibility of a strong peace. Not just any peace, a true peace that places the victims at the center of it. For the first time, FARC rebels say they're willing to use their assets for the reparation of the victims and say they will work with the government to improve the regions most affected by the conflict. Representative of the victims who offered proposals for the deal now say it will end decades of impunity. Hoy, Today we reclaim our dignity, our demands that the agreements can be true to the claims of all the victims. The deal also sets out the procedures of a justice system that will try those accused of atrocities, rebel fighters but also government soldiers and right-wing paramilitaries. While the rank and file will receive amnesty, the leaders responsible for war crimes will receive reduced sentences if they admit to their crimes. This is the first peace agreement reached in Colombia that hasn't ended with a general amnesty, but instead with the creation of a special tribunal with powers to discover all the violations of rights and all those responsible for those violations. Many Colombians remain skeptical of a deal that will let FARC leaders avoid prison, but experts say this agreement draws a fine balance between truth and justice. And I think it's important to keep in mind that the goal here is to reach an agreement that will allow peace to come forth in Colombia after over a half a century of war. And I think any other type of agreement that pushed too hard in terms of punishing the guerrillas and sending them to jail perhaps would have failed. Now negotiators will move on to discuss the disarmament of the rebels, the last point of the agenda still standing. The long-sought agreement removes the last stumbling block in the talks and it puts the negotiations back on track towards reaching a full comprehensive peace deal in time for its deadline on March 23, 2016. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.